Hi, I'm Simon Wesley. I'm a, I'm a clinical psychiatrist, so I do actually very occasionally see patients still, but not very often, thank God. Uh, <laughs> patients say that means, not mine. The answer comes from here. This is the ending of what is a study of the Samaritans. Now then, when the Samaritans came in in the 1950s, someone did a study looking at the suicide rate. And here you can see towns in England and Wales, and this is, this is the suicide rate up until when the Samaritans opened their branch, and you can see afterwards it went down. Clearly then, the Samaritans have been reduced to the suicide rate. Excellent, who could dispute that? But the study went on. And what it looked at then was the next line is all these other towns in England and Wales that didn't have the Samaritan's branch. <laughs> and you can see that went down as well. Now we talk about the 1950s. Why? What's the explanation? What happened? What's the explanation? Do anyone remember? No? Come on, doctors. Do you remember? Yeah. You have a lot of fun. Yeah. Nothing to do with psychiatric drugs at all. Nothing at all. Something that happened in the 1950s that dramatically reduced the suicide rate and was nothing to do. Yeah. It was a switch from coal gas to natural gas. When we do that, you can't kill yourself with natural gas. So all the traditional way, if you put your head in the oven, doesn't work with natural gas. It did work with coal gas. In other words, what that was was a confounder. We call it a confounder. It was an alternative explanation. It happened by coincidence at the same time as the Samaritans had the effect of reducing the suicide rate, there was nothing to do with the Samaritans. That's not to say Samaritans aren't a good thing, they are, but they don't reduce the suicide rate. So confounders then are alternative explanations for what we see. And that is the beauty of one lovely thing that trials do. They deal with these alternative explanations, the ones that you can think about, and the ones you can't think about, the ones you don't know about. As long as you toss the coin properly, you'll find all the other explanations disappear because they're balanced between the two groups. And that's what trials do. That's what's unique about them. And that's why they are indeed the greatest of oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs>